You know, they finally did it. Yeah, they did. They made gloves without tips. Can you believe it? How long did this take? My gosh. <laughs> finally. Man, it's, this is so cool. Anyway, stick around for the who, what, when, where, and how much. Hi, my name is Hector, and today is review day for the Wacom drawing gloves. Now, what makes these so special? Well, don't gotta use these anymore. Or do we? Well, let's do a review. Let's start by getting rid of that. And now let's look at the front. Looks like there's two things they really want us to know. One is that it's made out of 90% recycled materials and uh, you only get one. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, what's on the flip side? Let's see. Okay, looks like four things they want us to know. It's smudge free, breathable fabric, ambidextrous design, and one size, and it's stretchable. Okay, sounds like a glove to me. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's unbox it. And let's just rip it through. Now, when I slid it out, I, I looked at it closely, and my first impression was it was like, it was nicely done, because uh, the seams weren't that huge, and then when I really took a really close look at it, on the fingertips and the side of the palm is, it didn't have any finishing seams. Uh, so, uh, it's kind of scary, because I don't know if that's going to unravel at a certain point. But I'm thinking, it's going to work. So let's compare this. Let's compare this to the Huyan glove. Now, I've had this glove forever. In fact, this is one of my spare gloves. It's a solid glove. It's like they got two thick pieces of fabric, put it together, and they just sewed it. There's seams everywhere, on the top, the bottom, the sides, between the fingers, everywhere. I'm not too crazy about the relaxed fit, but I've used this glove forever and, and I like it a lot. So let's demo the glove. Let's go ahead and just scribble all over this thing. Go ahead and scribble, scribble, scribble. And now we're gonna do an undo with a two finger tap. Now. Wanna go full screen while you're wearing the glove? Go ahead, hit it, four finger tap. Now how cool is that? And you're wearing the glove. Now let's go ahead and just mess up the illustration one more time. Scribble all over it, all over it, all over it. And now we're gonna do a three finger scrub. Cool, now the layer's clear. Let's go ahead and remove full screen, four finger tap. And now we're gonna do a three finger swipe down for the world famous copy and paste. And as far as the Wacom goes, I think it was more elegantly designed. It really was. It's, they had given much more thought to where the seams were going to be. So if you're using a glove for long hours, it's not going to dig into your skin. Uh, it's mostly made out of polyester and spandex. So it's, you're going to get that fitted feel. And that's why I gave it high marks for design, comfort, and fit. As far as durability goes, and I've only had it for a month. So uh, jury's still out, but I got a good feeling. Cost? Ugh. Wish it was less than $9.95, but it is what it is. Would I buy it again? <laughs> yeah. There's only one drawing glove out there that I know of that you can wear it and use all your fingers for gestures. So yeah, sure I would. I'd buy it again. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help out this channel. And if you want to pick up some gloves, the link's in the description below. Thanks for watching. Gotta go. Bye.